Hello, welcome again to expect good things with God. When you begin to move with God, to be with God, you begin to expect good things and surely good things will happen to you. This is Reverend Idika Agun Imeri of the Idika Imeri's Ministries saying welcome to our broadcast and remember Jesus Christ is King. And also remember, if he's been talking to you, as I've been asking him to begin to talk to you guys all over the world, the nations of the world, invite me to your church, invite me to your nation. We want to partner with you. We want to come down there and let revival break out in your cities, in your group, in your church. We want to see the power of God at work, at work. In today's message, before I get into it, let me say this to you. When you sow into our ministry, when you invest in us, God himself will also begin to invest in you. Remember us in your prayers. Our phone number is 425-409-0473, which is also our fax number. You can also email us at idikaimeri at live.com. We want to hear from you and if you have a prayer request and need believe me for this i believe that when we pray miracles breaks out hallelujah now let's go into what we have for you today in our episode now this is it um when 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 god begin to hang out with you and you begin to hang out with god and you begin to have experiences with God, there is something that you're going to begin to encounter that you will never forget. You might see it once in your lifetime. You might see it many times. You might see it all the time. But I just want you to be aware. You might not see them, but they are there. You will discover angels. Now, let me share something really good with you. I was sleeping. I'm going to put, reverse the story and put it in a way that you will really understand it. This is true, what I'm telling you. And the Holy Spirit is my witness. I was sleeping in the night, one of those days. And I began to dream that I was seeing an angel. I have never seen an angel before. I mean, I don't want to go too much into this, but let me say this. I've never seen an angel physically. So I was dreaming and I was seeing this fellow. There are different kinds of angels I've come to know through my study of them and my study of those who have also seen what I've seen. And I discovered that this fellow, he was so beautiful so handsome i can't tell whether he's a man or a woman but whatever he was he was good he looks good <laughs> he looks really really good and he had a bag full of arrows he has a bow also in his hand a guardian angel <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> and he had a beautiful wing beautiful golden wing and i was seeing him in a dream then it's like somebody like say idika woke up idika woke up so i woke up from my sleep just as it is written in the book of acts that the angel walked right into the prison and told peter wake up this is no longer a dream this is reality and i woke up God is my witness. I woke up. And as I woke up, behold, is this being looking at me. And I am looking at him. And the whole room, the bedroom was flooded with light as bright, brighter than the fluorescent light. It was so bright like it is during the daytime. The cloud was in my room. The cloud was in my room. And I looked at him. For some reason, I wasn't afraid. I was fascinated. This is awesome. 
I want to be like that. You know, that I can break in at any time. He never opened his mouth to say anything. Instead, I began to hear someone, him. He began to talk to me inside my spirit. That's when I knew that I am more than a human being. I'm more than flesh and blood or more than a soul. That's when I knew my real me is a spirit being. I am a spirit. Let me put it like Kenneth E. Hagin put it. I am a spirit being. I have a soul and I live in this body. If you know that your life is like that, it will be easy for you to become anything with God. He began, or she, whatever, he began, the angel began to speak with his spirit. Being a spirit, he didn't open his mouth, but I could hear everything he was saying to my spirit. My spirit was also communicating with him. This was beyond me. This was outstanding. And after that, he began to go towards the wall, towards the window, and he vanished from my side. But then the cloud, as I'm talking to you right now, the power of God has entered into my hand. On my right hand, the fire has entered into my hand right now. Which also means that the same angel, the angels of God are ready to do ministry as I'm talking right now. So that's what is going to happen during this episode. And as he left, there was a smoky cloud in that room for a while. Then slowly, God's presence doesn't disappear immediately. It goes slowly, slowly, slowly. Then it disappeared. And I was like, wow. When you begin to Relate with God sincerely. When you begin to have encounter and experience with the divine, he begins to allow you into the lifestyle of heaven, which is you discover angels. You discover that you are not the only being that the father and the king has. They have angels who have also been assigned to follow you and to begin to minister to you. Therefore, when I'm in the airplane, I'm not afraid. I am in the sea, I'm not afraid. I'm walking anywhere, I'm not afraid. In the day, in the night, I'm not afraid. The reason is because I have ministering spirits, angels of God. I have divine agents walking with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah that I'm not alone on earth. Hallelujah that you are not alone on earth. Look for encounter with God so that you start having angels ministering to you. The Bible called the ministering spirit assigned to minister to us. They are our brothers. They are our sisters assigned to minister to us. Have you been asking God for the gift of angels? Ask him for the gift of angels to bring to you the things you desperately need that are good. I want you to begin to encounter angels. Now, because of the power of God that is upon me right now, Father, let your power go forth. Let your power go forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your power go forth into the world right now. I speak to you and those of you who are in wheelchair, sitting in the wheelchair right now, in a nursing home and watching this program. Get up and work. Get up and work. And I'm seeing those of you in your homes on wheelchair. Get up and work. The Holy Spirit said, when I speak, he performs. And those of you who are suffering from cancer, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke cancer. I demand that cancer leave your bodies, no matter what type. Those of you with various blood diseases, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. 
I rebuke blindness. I rebuke dumb spirit, deaf spirit, the spirit of bondage and heaviness. I rebuke you, lying spirit. I rebuke all kinds of headache, all kind of back pains. I rebuke every problem with the heart. Let new heart enter into your bodies right now. In the name of Jesus, new legs grow, new hands pop out. In the name of Jesus, new teeth grow. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for miracles that, are blo that, are, that blows my mind that are happening right now. Amen. And if you've received your healing, because healing has gone forth, virtue is going out of me right now into the nations of the world. Write to us. Write to us. Our phone number is 425-409-0472, which is also our fax number. And God bless you as you let us know what God is doing right now. Amen. The Lord is good all the time.